Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are working on the helicopter once again. Now a few people have made some suggestions, and I believe I am going to follow through with those suggestions. Now, one of the suggestions was to make this thing a little bit longer, the tail bit a little bit longer. Now, I kind of agree with you guys, but at the same time, don't really know how to do it. I kind of want to make it drop down a little bit here and then maybe push it out backwards a little bit here. And then this bit will be like copy and pasted backwards slightly. I think that would make it look kind of cool. So we'll probably end up doing that. Uh, we also need to change some of the control surfaces and stuff like that to make them work a little bit better. And once we've done all of that, it should work out pretty fine. So let's go ahead and do all of that. And hopefully we'll have a working helicopter by the end. Okay, so first things first, let's have a little look on the inside and we basically need to connect the collective to the up and down thing. So right here, up and down, stabilized up and down. Then from there to this, there we go, fantastic. We also need to change this into a uh, neutral thing, there we go. And that is literally all we need to do. So that will work completely fine now, that's fantastic. If we go to the back of the helicopter, we need to lengthen this. So let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of it. There we go. Yeah, grab a whole load of it like so. Bring it all the way back. Bring it all the way sideways to like this side. Bring it all the way this way as well. And obviously we need to pick up um, this whole thing. So I guess we go backwards a little bit more. Up a little bit more and down a little bit more. And maybe out a little bit more. I don't know. Oh yeah, up one more. There we go. Alright, cool. And probably down the same amount as well. And then backwards as well. Oh my. Okay, right. They're way bigger than I thought they were. Alright, cool. We're going to go ahead and cut this, and we're going to move it back a good bunch. Probably all the way back to about there. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Paste it, and we'll go ahead and merge it together. There we go. Alright, cool. We obviously want it done on both sides as well. And, of course, we do need to do the whole thing of, uh, yeah. Hold on. I'll show you guys what I mean. We need to put the pipes in. And at the minute, we don't, we don't actually have any pipe pieces. So we'll go ahead and grab this piece, and we'll merge it with this piece. And I think that's all we need to do. There might be something in here that I've missed, but it should be all a-okay. All right, cool. Grab this. We'll go ahead and do this to this side and whammo. That's good. And then we'll obviously go ahead and color in the bottom piece like so. And same bit right here. There we go. Nicely done. Go ahead and merge those two together. And that's fantastic. So that is stuck out way longer than it was before. Kind of feel like that makes it look a little bit better. It might want to be like a tiny bit shorter though. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. I think we should extend this slightly as well. So if I go ahead and delete this, 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 there we go, that's awesome. We can literally go ahead and put in like a bunch of this. There we go, make it come up to like around about here. That seems like a good place for it to come up to. And then we'll go ahead and just put this in, just like so. Yeah, that seems good. That seems like a good idea right there. Go ahead and push this around a little bit. And yeah, I think that works. I think that works pretty nicely actually. Uh, so yeah, we'll leave that like that. Alright, cool. Now that we've done all of that, let's go ahead and spawn it in. And we'll see if she flies properly. If she does fly properly, that's awesome. We can get on with the winch. And then once we've done the winch, this thing is pretty much ready to go. All right, cool. Go sit in the seat. Turn her on. There we go. Beautiful. And do the throttle. The full. There we go. And off we go. Here we go. We are off the ground. We're moving. Press 2 and we should be stabilized. Yes. All right. Awesome sauce. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. All right. And up we want to go. Yeah. Oh, boys, this is beautiful. She's actually flying completely fine. That is really cool. That is really, really cool. All right, and if we want, like, a stable flight and just stay, stay still in the air, if we jump out of our seat, is she pretty sturdy? I think so. I think she is pretty sturdy. We are still going up, of course, but uh, we can put in some sort of autopilot system to keep us in the right place. That would be a pretty cool idea. But other than that, we're doing a pretty good job. We also need to add some rudders. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, we basically want to go ahead and push this out slightly, a little bit more. We'll delete a bunch of this. There we go. We'll go ahead and bring this out slightly, and we'll make it go out slightly here as well. And we'll literally just go like this. There we go. Fantastic. And we'll add another piece as well. We'll then go ahead and do this, the same as it was before, but a little bit bigger. And, oh, actually, no. We won't do that. We'll just grab this, and we'll do something that brings it upwards. Yep, kind of like this. That's good. And up a little bit more. And then from the top of this piece, we'll go ahead and do this. And hopefully that doesn't touch that. No, it doesn't. There's nowhere near. It is nowhere near. That's good. There we go. Fantastic. We'll do that. We'll do the bottom piece as well. Spin this around. Beautiful. And we'll go ahead and do this as well. 
Yeah. All right. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice right there. Go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, somewhat like that. That's good. Grab this piece and put her in. And there we go. Nicely done. And that makes it look, I guess, a-okay. I think that's fine. We'll leave it like that anyway. So that's good. We'll then logicify that to something because at the minute it doesn't do anything. Neither does this, to be totally honest with you. So I guess uh, pitch for forward momentum is going to go to this. Yeah, that's pitch as well. All right, cool. And this is going to be your because that's what it is. There we go. Your Nice. Now they both need power. So we'll go ahead and give them some power. And then once we, they've got the power, I think we're good to go. That's awesome. That is really cool. Hopefully that works. Nice. So now that all that's in, um, we can actually start with the winch. Now, a few people had a good idea with the winch to add it to the floor. Now, the problem with that is if we look under the floor, we've got our fuel tank. This is our fuel tank area right there. So it can't actually go through the floor. What we can do instead, though, is we could have one just naturally dangling over the side on both sides. I feel like that is probably an A-OK -okay idea. Uh, we'll literally just drag it out like this and we'll have it dangle over the sides um, as if it's supposed to be there. So we'll do that on both sides. That's good. We'll attach them together like so. And I guess we'll delete some of this to make it sort of fit in a little bit nicer. Uh, so we'll drag them out slightly like this. We'll go ahead and put that on there. And we'll put that on there. And I guess it should really be in, in line with this, but never mind. We'll do it there for now. And uh, yeah, we want to put the winch on. So let's go ahead and grab the winch thingamabobby. We'll do the small winches for this. And we'll put them on both sides. All right, cool. In fact, actually, we could probably delete most of this. Oh, it is only three big, though. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. That is a little bit annoying. But you know what? That's fine. Delete these. Go ahead and put this right here. All right, cool. Attach this onto there. And delete this. There we go. Fantastic. We got one winch lined up and ready. In fact, we got two winches lined up and ready. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll go into here and we'll delete that. And we'll delete this as well. And basically what they'll be is buttons. So we'll go ahead and make them buttons. We need them to be toggle buttons, preferably. There we go. One will be up for one. will be for down. And there we go. There we go. And let's electrify most of these. Oh, man. We've got so much electricity on this thing. And only one medium battery. That is pretty sucky right there. But there we go. All right, cool. They're all in. We'll then go ahead and have this one for up. This one for down. There we go. Same on this side. This one for down. This one for up. And we need to label them as well. So this one's going to be down. This one's going to be up. There we go. Up and down and up and down. All right, this one's going to be up as well. And this one's going to be down. Yeah. All right, that's pretty good. It's pretty good right there. We'll leave them just dangling over the side. Let's have a little look, see what it looks like from when we're in game. And yeah, they're just dangling there. That's okay. We can just run and jump into the helicopter. Everything is actually A-OK. -okay. Can we access those? Yep. The uh, winches need to be a little bit quicker. In fact, they need to be a lot quicker. We'll literally make them speed five. Oh, no. Maybe not five, but like three? Three seems like a good number. We'll go with three. There we go. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. That is awesome. Uh, we'll add a... Uh, oh, I don't know what to add to this. So I've seen somebody, uh, like a Japanese guy on Twitter. He had basically a winch on a winch. One of the winches went all the way to the floor. And then the other winch sort of used that line, that winch line, uh, to be able to sort of guide itself down, which was actually a pretty awesome idea. Um, whether we should do that or not, I'm not so sure. Also, I am going to connect these. Not sure what they need electricity for, but I'll connect them anyway uh, and hope for the best with those. All right, cool. Um, so, so far, so good. She's looking pretty beautiful. We do need to add some paintings to her, though. I really do want it to look nice. So, we're going to go ahead and delete this right here. And we're going to add some sort of symbol in there. That seems like a good idea. Uh, what that symbol is going to be, not, I, not, not sure. Paint a bull sign. There we go. Grab one of these and we'll make it... I guess white is fine. Yeah, there we go. All right, cool. Bring this this way. We'll put a bunch of these down. All right, cool. On both sides, it's fine. Um, and yeah, we can actually paint these like this. I didn't realize this before, but you can actually just jug these and it won't affect the rest of your plane or helicopter or whatever you're building. Uh, so that's pretty good. What do I want to draw on there though? I really don't know. I have no idea. Um, I'm, I'm just going to put a symbol on there and I guess we'll hope for the best. In fact, actually, we'll just put an English flag. Because I like the English flag. All right, cool. We'll just use this. We'll go ahead and draw straight down the middle. We'll draw straight across the sides here. There we go. It's probably going to be that fat anyway. So we'll just do that. And we'll do the same on the top side. There we go. Beautiful. We'll do this up here. This down here. And we'll continue with this. Yeah, there we go. St. George's flag. Heck yeah. There we go. Cool. We got a big 
English flag. Awesome sauce. There we go. Cool. Do that. All the way across here as well. Nicely done. All the way up there as well. Pretty beautiful. Pretty beautiful indeed. There we go. Do all of this. Do all of this as well. There we go. And that kind of needs to be put on the other side as well. Uh, but for right now, let's have a little look. See what it looks like in game. Just a big English flag. I kind of don't like it there. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think we should have something, some words here. Maybe some words can go underneath it. I guess that would work. Uh, but on this side, we've obviously got nothing as well. So we need to copy paste uh, that one. Copy paste that one. All right. Exit this. Clear this one. Bring it forwards and uh, bring it to the side real quick. And we'll go ahead and copy and paste that one to make it look a little bit nicer. All right. Cool. Make it big, bigger, big, big, bigger and biggest. There we go. Beautiful. Go ahead and copy that one. Press U. Take it to the other side. And paste her in. Beautiful. All right, cool. Merge that with there. Awesome. Right, cool. That's ready to go. Uh, what do I want to put on these winches? I'm not so sure. I kind of feel like they should be a little bit higher as well. Uh, but for right now, we'll leave them where they are. Um, right, okay. We can delete these as well because we don't need those anymore. Might as well put one of these in. Beautiful. And yeah, we're ready to go. Ooh, awesome. That's really cool. Um, as for this, we're going to go ahead and paint those because they don't need to be there anymore like that. And I think we're ready. I think we're ready. That's awesome. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, on one side, I'm going to have a harness. Harness. Yeah, that's good. And on the other side, we'll, I guess we could have a magnet. I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think it needs magnets. So yeah, we'll just have harnesses on both sides. Seems like an okay idea to me. All right. Orange. Uh, we're going to have the harnesses painted orange. Uh, don't really know why, but there you go. Boop. Orange for you. You're already orange as well. I th I feel like that makes it look a little bit nicer. Beautiful. All right, cool. We do need to sort out some stuff in here as well to make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to delete this. All right, cool. And we're going to make a white thingamabobby all the way across the top line, all the way across here. And that's going to go to there. That seems like a good idea to me. All right, cool. That's good. That's good. That makes it look way nicer, in fact. Uh, we're also going to do like a line across here as well. And then I guess we can merge these two together using one of them funny blocks. One of these. There we go. Spin it around a little bit. Put her in. Yeah, that makes it look way better. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much done with this thing. I was expecting it to take forever. But no, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what we got here. Uh, if I logic this, can we make this do anything? Oh, we can. Ooh, we can. All right, cool. So harness button one, wherever that is. There we go. Harness button one. Can go to this button and be up and then harness button two can be down oh yeah I guess I think that's how it works all right cool let's um select this and we'll do this we'll actually type it in so harness button one is up I, I like doing it with the caps there we go up and harness button two is down there we go pretty good all right cool we'll do the same on the other side Harness button one is up. Harness button two is down. There we go. We need to select these and we need to make sure they do what, what I just told them that they're going to do. So one is up. Uh, okay, two is down. There we go. Fantastic. So in theory, we should be able to fly this outside and I guess hover for a little bit. And we should be able to control what we do with this winch. Hopefully. Presumably. I'm not entirely sure though. All right, cool. Close this door uh, with that button right there. Then we'll go ahead and we'll take off. So we'll do this. There we go. We do that. We need to actually select all of those. We need some lights as well. Uh, so they're all completely fine. Throttle all the way to full. Turn this off. We do automatically spin at the very beginning. That's controllable. And then we'll start flying off forwards. Yeah. Awesome. That is really cool. All right. So if we can somehow keep this in a steady location, we should be good to literally just jump out of our seat. Oh, it's not as actually as stable as I thought it was. If I jump in here, we can press 2. And we start to go down. Oh, that is so cool. That is really cool. Nice. All right, so we know it actually works. That is really cool. Uh, we do need to add some sort of stability. Oh. I Oh. I didn't really mean to do that. I've just jumped out of the helicopter. I've jumped out of the harness. It does look like it is sort of coming down a little bit, though, so that's okay. Um, the next thing I kind of want to work on is we need some lights on this thing, and then we're good to go from there, I think. All right, can I jump up and grab, jump into this? Not yet. Give it a few seconds. Three, two, one. Jump and jump in. There we go. Press one, and we should start to go up. Yeah. 
Although the helicopter, I believe, is coming down, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so time to add some lights. I don't really know where the uh, the navigation lights on this thing go, so we're just going to shove them on here somewhere, and you guys can tell me I'm wrong tomorrow uh, when this video comes out. So, yeah, all right, cool. Uh, let's go underneath. We need... Uh, I kind of want to have a spotlight somewhere, but can't really fit one on the bottom. I can't, I, I can't put one on the bottom. So instead of putting one on the bottom, let's have a little look. Spotlight. They're just really big. I don't want it to be really big. Light. Let's let's get some lights as well. Some normal lights. There we go. So the spotlight. It's too big, isn't it? It is far too big. Unless I do this. Which, yeah, it's a little bit too big for that. If I put it there, though, that would work. Or if I put something on the outside to make it point down, that would also work as well. So maybe we should do that. Like have... Let's go with red. Have something sort of poke out. Uh, a good little bit. There we go. Like two of those. We'll do this. And we'll do this. Alright, cool. And we put a spotlight on the end of there. I guess that works. We could have two spotlights. But I think we only need one. So, yeah. We'll delete one on one side. And we'll keep the one on the other. Alright, delete this. We don't need you. We don't need you. And we'll go ahead and paint it. So that the lumini thing in my bobby is like this color because I feel like it's it's nicer. It's a nicer light, uh, but we might not be able to see as much, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're going to keep that right there. Seems like a good place for it. We'll leave it there. Uh, so we do have a button for a spotlight and it's this one right here. So we'll go ahead and turn that on with that and we'll have it be controlled by this up and down. There we go. Beautiful. All right, cool. So that spotlight. It needs some power. Once it's got power, it is good to go. There we go. Nice. Now we just need lights on the inside. Uh, now, this is where things get a little bit, I don't know, maybe not tricky, but I don't know where to put them kind of thing. So we'll have one there. We'll have one here. And then we'll have one all the way at the back. Yeah, how about that? There we go. It seems like a good location for all of them. We'll put that in there. We'll put one in here in the right place. And we'll put one here in the right place. Good. Let's go ahead and paint all of these so that they're the right color. There we go. Nicely done. And we'll logicify them. Oh, also, these need painting too. Oh, they're not even in yet. They're not even in yet. All right, let me put one of these in. There we go. Beautiful. We'll paint the rest of it white. Boop. And we'll give the normal color the normal color. Yeah. Uh, so left is red. Left is red. Right is green. I believe that's how it works. All right, awesome. There we go. And I guess they should be flashing. Let's add a blinker to it. Uh, blinker. All right, cool. We'll add a blinker. There we go. We'll go ahead and shove this, I guess, in there if we can fit it. Yeah, we can. We can totally fit it right in there. There we go. Logic both of those to that. And then once they're in, we're good to go. All right, cool. Logic delight to delight. And that to there. There we go. And then this goes to, like, I don't know, uh, lights? Oh, I guess it just goes on when the engine goes on. So, uh, oh, we still don't have a button for that. We'll put it on backlight, because backlight should go on all the time anyway. Uh, gyro still isn't connected, so we'll go ahead and connect that up. And then lights goes to this one, and this one, and this one. There we go. Lights are now connected. They all need power. Boop, boop, and boop. There we go. They've all got power. These need power as well, so we'll connect them with power there. And this needs power as well, so we'll give you power. We'll give you power. And we'll give you power, and we'll give you power. There we go. Everybody's got power now. So the lights actually do their job, the buttons for the lights do their job, and everything seems a-okay. Beautiful, nice. Exactly what we want. We want it to be simple, we want it to be smart. Uh, so that's great. All of that is done. Uh, we do obviously want this painting like properly, so we'll go ahead and do this. There we go, beautiful. And we're ready to go. I mean, I think this thing is almost done, if not already done. It just needs the autopilot settings, and then once the autopilot's in there, we're good to go. But I'm going to be honest, I'm not very good at autopilot, so uh, we'll leave that for someone else to, to help me with. Um, but yeah, alright, cool, let's go ahead and turn it on. Boop. We'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll go ahead and go full throttle. We'll turn this off. Let's have a little look at our battery. I don't think it charges, but I don't think it runs out of battery, so I think we're okay. Yeah. I might add another generator. I'm not so sure, though. Alright, press 2. Oh no, 2 doesn't do anything anymore. We just have to press gyro. And we are flying. All right, cool. Those are blinking way too quickly, but that's okay. And yeah, we are leaning backwards slightly. So I need some more weight in the front. Other than that, perfectly fine. Awesome. 
Let's add the spotlight. Let's turn the spotlight on. Oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Let's change it to nighttime. See what it looks like on a nighttime. Uh, okay, cool. And we'll have the normal lights on as well. Oh, that is beautiful. I like that. I like that a lot. If we go in the spotlight chair, which is this one, we can totally point it down and upwards. And yeah, it works. It totally works. It needs to be sticky, though, because otherwise it'll just go back to its normal setting. But that is awesome. That is really cool. All right, change it back to this. There we go. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, she flies really nicely. Beautiful. All right, cool. I've turned the gyro off. See if we can land her. Okay, that was a bit hard. That was a little bit hard, but we did it. We did it anyway. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here for now. If you guys can think of anything else that I need to change, I, I am going to change that blinker so it's a little bit slower. Not entirely sure how slow it should go, like two and two, probably. That seems fine. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good idea. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys think it's ready now to go live, then let me know in the comments down below. If you guys want some sort of autopilot setting in here somewhere, somehow, then I'll probably end up doing that somehow. And uh, yeah, I'll add another generator to this and everything should be fine from there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.